Hey, what's going on YouTube? This week we are seeing if we can replace the end piece on my air compressor hose. Coming up. So I was recently using the air paint sprayer to update an old dresser that I have and the end of the hose is starting to wear out for my air compressor. Now this is just a cheap Harbor Freight air compressor hose is 3 8 uh, I believe it's like 100 feet long. And I've had it for a couple of years. I mean, I can't say that I've had it that long, but uh, it's starting to wear out here on the end and crack and leak. Had an air leak while I was uh, trying to use the paint sprayer. I'd have to hold the paint sprayer with one hand and then hold the hose with my other hand to try and manipulate it to keep it from leaking. So instead of buying a whole new hose, I decided to give these a try. I picked them both up on Amazon. I don't know which one's gonna work better. So I'm gonna go down just a little bit to some better looking hose. It looks like it gets better, not too, too much farther down, just like right in here. And we'll just cut the hose off there. Okay, so we have two different designs here. So this first one, this piece will screw on to the outside of the hose first. So you would screw it on and then you take this piece and screw it down inside of it. Something like that. With this other one, we would slide it on over and then we got this piece right here, which is barbed and we'd stick that down inside and then we would slide this guy up and screw it on. So hopefully you can see the way that this one would work. Down over the hose, put that on, slide this back up the hose and then screw it on. Honestly, I have no idea which one's gonna work better or last longer. This one says that it's reusable. I'm sure the other one could be too. On the package, this one does say that it is for Bluebird hoses. Give it a shot. I don't know which one I wanna try first or if I wanna try them both. So I used a little bit of silicone spray lubricant cause that's gonna help get it on. And then I can grab some tools. Now, I don't know if you wanna call me lazy or smart, but we have them so we might as well use them. I'm sure I have high hopes for this one. So I got it seated on there, the barbed part of it. And now I gotta get this piece down on there. I was kind of afraid of that. Because it is so tight, I can't get this one to go up to meet the threads on here to even begin to tighten it down. So we might have to go with this one. I didn't even try pressurizing it, but I guess that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna go back to this one. All right, so we went back with this one. It's on there. Looks better this time. I tell you what, if I was having to do this by hand, it probably uh, wouldn't be the easiest thing to do. This, the big piece seems to want to stay put pretty well, but when you're tightening this in, the hose wants to rotate. I had to use the wrench to hold the big one in place, kind of kept it more rigid and allowed the small one to screw into it. And now we got to attach this guy back on here. For this, we're just gonna use some Teflon tape. And now I gotta take a second to air up the air compressor. I don't keep air in it all the time. All right, so we got it put together 
air compressor. I just let it go up to 100 PSI because that, it's not like I need it right now. So I didn't need to let it fill all the way back up. I'm just gonna use Windex. Uh, I only have one spray bottle that I use for my fish tanks and I don't wanna put soap in it. I don't see any air bubbles. I don't hear any leaks. So I think it's going to work, at least for now. It's gonna get me a little bit longer out of this cheap Harbor Freight air compressor hose. If you're interested in either of the connectors, I will put links from Amazon in the description. It doesn't cost you any extra, but it does help the channel out a little bit when you use my links. But I guess that's it. Pretty easy on this one. So until the next project, we will catch you on the next one. See ya.